Yo, what is up YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick little detailed review on the Nike Air Force One Flyknit Mid, which is my latest pickup. I know not too many people are really hyped on this sneaker here. It's gone a little bit under the radar. However, I am bringing you this video because I do believe that the Flyknit Air Force One Low is gonna be the perfect summer slash spring shoe for you guys. So I decided to pick these up because I got them for a good price. Um, these do retail at 175. I was able to get them a little cheaper, so I'm really glad that I was able to get these. The Flyknit Air Force One Lows are either in store now or should be coming into store within the next month or so. And I'll put some images of a few colorways that I have seen online and that I think you guys would be interested in. This particular model here is a, uh, it's the mid version and it is really lightweight and really comfortable. I wear them all day today. Compared to my Air Force One Flax or Wheat, whatever you want to call them, these are the highs and these are the mids. Holding them like this together, this is much lighter than this. I wish you guys could see, but if you haven't had a chance to go and try them on in the store, I definitely recommend just asking the people at the store to let you try them on because it is a great shoe to have because of how lightweight and comfortable they are, and I think they really look good as well. I'm gonna give you guys some quick detailed images of the shoe itself, and I also provide an on foot section for you guys, so hopefully this video helps you guys out in some type of way if you are interested in the Air Force One Flyknits, Lowe's, or Mids. Um, so without there, further ado, let's get into some detailed shots, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so as you guys can see here, the whole upper is fully constructed of flyknit material. All the way around the whole shoe, with the exception of the leather on the swoosh and the heel counter. Which, it does also come with the leather strap. I don't really like how the leather strap looked. I just left it on there for you guys to see. I'm probably going to be wearing them without the leather strap. Um, the shoelaces are held together by... The fly wire, like in most fly knit shoes, this fly wire is like a simple string that holds all the laces together all the way up to the top. Um, you have a very thin, thin leather material uh, tongue on this shoe. That's one thing I actually don't like. I think this material is really thin. I do understand why they did it though. They wanted to make it as lightweight as possible. Um, but this uh, kind of like bugs if you're wearing low cut socks. And, uh, in my opinion, it's kind of a flaw of the shoe. The tongue is really thin and, and like and it doesn't feel too comfortable. So on this specific colorway, the midsole is completely blacked out with the exception of the toe box, which is like that gamma blue on the gamma 11s and on the heel. Um, you do have your classic Air Force One uh, bottom. However, this one is really dense. Like it's really soft. And a lot, I know a lot of people have said this, but it really is really soft that you can actually squeeze it. And it's actually really lightweight. It's, here goes the one with the leather strap, so you guys can see it. This is your normal Velcro strap, like the Air Force One's highs comes with. Um, besides that, there's really not much to it. Like I said, it's really lightweight, really comfortable. Um, it's it kind of forms to your foot because it's a loose-fitting material. Flying it's always super loose, and um, it doesn't really have any support besides the heel counter. So if you like something that's a little bit more constricting and more supportive probably gonna want to go with a different shoe however this shoe is still really comfortable and the velcro strap actually provides a lockdown feature as well as the fly wire here um, besides that there's nothing much different from this and the low top they're basically the same except the low top does not have the top half of the shoe so as you can imagine it would look something like that without the without the strap or the top the top two eyelids that the highest come with the top three eyelids that the highest come with um, so that's why I think that the light, the low top fine Air Force Ones are going to be a great essential sneaker for your summer and spring rotation because they are really lightweight and really like uh, certain colorways look way better than the mids in my opinion. So if you are interested, definitely look into those.
right, so that's actually gonna do it on this quick video for the Air Force One Mids Flying It version. Um, a few key things to remember, if you're getting Air Force One, in my personal opinion, I feel like they run about half a size big, so definitely recommend going half a size down. Um, but if you have a chance to try on both sizes, definitely give them a try and make sure you get the right size. Also, uh, these do retail at 175, the mids, but I do believe that the lows are gonna retail at 160. And I'll include a list or a link down below to a website that has these available. I believe Full Locker might have these available for you guys, so I'll leave a link to them down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.